Welcome to Sickbacker's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, and today I got something really cool to show you. It's a brand new product from Zero 3D. It just came out, and I'm pretty excited to get this on the customer's bike. And it'll be the LED lighted license plate frame. Today, we're going to be installing the black with the smoked lens. And of course, as always from Zero, you can get this in a couple of different flavors. You can get it in chrome with red or smoked, and you can get it in black with red or smoked. So you have a few options there as far as the lighting and the plate frame itself. One of the coolest features that I think outside of having run brake and light LEDs on the side is that it actually hides the fasteners of your license plate frame. We have several different ones mounted on the motorcycles in here and this is the only one that actually hides the four screws where you're mounting your plate which is pretty cool. It will however not work on the Street Glide or Road Glide STs so bear that in mind. Those new STs that just came out this will not work on that. And as always from Ciro if you look inside the lens right here is optically designed to actually spread and throw that LED light. Another cool feature is is yes you can see it from the rear but these lenses also wrap around the side so it does add some visibility for the sides of your bike as well which is pretty cool so another cool feature is that it is curved it gives you a nice sleek look to the license plate on your fender instead of having this round fender and just a flat plate on there inside the package you'll get another package that has all of the hardware in it as always from Ciro they never leave anything out it even includes a little bit of dielectric grease for you and we'll get to that here in just a little bit and as always from Ciro full color instructions and maybe later on down the road you've misplaced your instructions and no big deal you can always jump on Cyril's website pull up the part number go over to instructions and download the PDF right there now before I install this this morning I've already downloaded the PDF look through the instructions so we don't need that it's going to be a little bit lengthy of a video but it is an easy install this is absolutely something that you can do at home with a few wrenches and a little bit of know-how so let's get the camera over here and let's get this thing installed now we have this up on a lift table so it's a little bit easier for us but you can absolutely do this on just a simple motorcycle jack or even just on the jiffy stand first thing we're going to do of course is just remove the stock license plate frame that he already has on here next thing we're going to do is remove the seat and then we'll remove the left hand saddlebag Now we're gonna go right underneath the fender right here. This is your tri bar light right here. Right on the bottom of this, you got two little tabs. You're gonna just pull down on those with your thumbs and you're gonna lift up and take this cover off. It just kind of hooks on the top. So we just pull it out just like that. Now, right over here on the right hand side, right hand side looking at the back of the bike, you're gonna see a plug going into the side of your tri bar light. It does have one on both sides because the wire harness comes from underneath the seat, comes along the side of your frame, plugs into the tri bar light, out of the tri bar light, and back up to your turn signals. So what we wanna do is unplug the one that goes back up to your turn signals. I have to use a little pick like this just because I don't have fingernails. We get that top one off, and these little tabs just kinda of pull down and you pull out just like that and that's disconnected. Now right above that tri bar light, I'll put an arrow on the screen just because I can't get my hand up in there and show that to you. But right above the tri bar light, dead center, we're gonna go ahead and remove that nut. Got a little washer right behind that, so we're gonna pull that off. And that actually holds on a metal clip. You can pull out on that wire. That wire goes through that metal clip. We're gonna pull that out and pull that down. So right up here on the back side of your turn signals, you'll see where it attaches to the fender. Behind that, up in here, you've got a half inch bolt. One on this side, one on this side. Get you a small ratchet like this and a half inch, get in there and get them out. If I'm working on this side, I like to go from this side of the tri bar light and this side, I'll go from this side of the tri bar light. And it's really hard to get your arm in between the tri bar light and the tire. So we just go at an angle. Now make sure when you take that bolt out, you have a hold of this. Once you pull those two bolts, this will fall down. It is still connected through this little wire plug here, but you definitely don't want any of this metal coming down and hitting your painted parts. Pull it away from the bike like that. There's that little rubber plug just like that. And we're actually gonna pull that wire out. That's the wire that went into the side of the tri bar light. That's the little clip that went on that little nut that we took out a while ago. You just wanna pull it out and set that to the side. You're gonna have two T25 bolts back here. Go ahead and remove those. Now 
You're gonna remove whatever license plate frame that you have on there. Now I've moved on over to a soft table so you can see this just a little bit better how this goes together because this part here is actually very important how you put the frame back onto the turn signal assembly. So the first thing we're gonna do is take two flat washers and lay right there on the bolt holes. We're gonna slide the plate frame up under the wire harness. We're gonna take the 5 Allen. We're gonna slide a split washer on that. We're gonna take our spacer to the big side Put it through that leaves the small side to go in the hole of the plate frame itself through that flat washer and go ahead and get that started same thing on the other side we're going to take our bolts we're going to take our lock washer slide it on we're going to get our spacer you got a big side and a small side we're going to go through the big side small side goes through the hole once again through the flat washer that's on the other side and this part here can be a little tricky you got to make sure that that flat washer stays in place and then get that one started. We're going to go ahead and snug these down. Just snug them down until they're tight. It's a lock washer that's on there, so that's not going anywhere. No blue lock tights needed. Just snug it down until it's tight. So from here, we're going to put the license plate in. This one's already a little bit curved because he already had a curved license plate on there. But if you need to curve your plate, it's very easy to do. You're just going to grab both sides of the plate and just do a slight bend like that. Don't overdo it. Don't crease the plate. You can always bend it a little bit more once you get it in here. Go to the bottom of the serial license plate frame and you're going to pull it apart just like that. You're going to lift that up and you're gonna slide this in. Now when installing your plate, it's important to note with all curved frame plates like this that I've ever installed, that a lot of times you're gonna to have to trim the plate. If you look at the edge of the license plate, you'll see on here, most plates are always like this where you have plenty of room to do a little trimming if you need to. So if you start to put this in and it's not going to go, you may have to trim the plate. We're gonna slide it in here and see if we can get it without trimming the plate. Once you get it up to this point, make sure that your wires are pushed all the way down and your plate goes in front of those wires. Grab the wires and pull them down tight to make sure that they are out of the way. And we're gonna slide this plate in. Now that we've got the plate slid all the way in, we're gonna close the back. Now, if this doesn't close, good enough where you can get a bolt and a screw in here, you may once again have to trim the bottom of the plate. I think with this plate, we're gonna be just fine. So we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna grab a lock washer and a flat washer from the kit. Same thing on this side, lock washer on first, flat washer. Just get it started by hand, just to make sure that we're not cross-threading anything. So this is gonna be an eight millimeter bolt. So we're gonna take our eight millimeter. I like to just go back and forth. So we make sure that we're pulling this down equal on both sides. Basically wanna snug it down until that lock washer is flattened and then give it just a little bit more. You don't wanna over tighten these. That lock washer will hold everything in place. Now on the back side, you can see that this wire runs through this plug and there's a pretty big gap in there. So we're gonna take the new wires from the plate frame and we're gonna put it in there as well. And you can kind of shift them off to the side a little bit like that and that's going to help hold them in place until we get this back in the bike now from here we want to feed the new wires back into the fender we're going to pull this down until we get it even with the other wire we're going to put this wire in go ahead and pull all of them through this is the part where you want to make sure that you protect your fender don't let the license plate frame smack all over the fender. We're going to hold the plate up and go ahead and pop this plug back into place. And that's going to hold everything in place for us. Now, on the bolts that we took out of the fender from Harley Davidson, they had a little bit of red Loctite on them. I think, uh, personally, red Loctite's a little bit break dancey for this situation. So you can get away with just putting some blue on there. So we're going to put some new fresh blue down the thread. We get our arm back up in here. Get that side started a little bit of blue on our other bolt and go in the other way we get the right side started and we're gonna get our ratchet back up in here get those snug down now once we have that tightened up we're gonna come back under the fender and we're gonna grab that metal clip we're gonna slide that back up onto the nut 
we're going to take that plug and plug it back into the side of the tri bar light you can usually just do this by feel you hear it click we're going to take our two wires and kind of feed it up over right here and we're just going to lay that right there for now now it says to do this part a little bit farther in the directions but i'm going to go ahead and do this since we're under there that clip we just put back on we're going to put our flat washer and our nylock nut back on right over the top of the tri bar light just to kind of keep that clip on there we'll tighten it down here in just a little bit just go ahead and tighten that down by hand for right now now inside the package from cereal you're also going to have this splitter it's going to have the six pin molex connector and it's going to go right here underneath your seat you've got a black plug and a gray plug the gray plug goes up to your tank the black plug goes back to your lights in the rear so we're just going to pop that up and we're going to disconnect it right there so you're left with a female and a male end same thing on the splitter so you're going to take the female end we're going to plug it in here we're going to take the male end and plug it in here so basically this just daisy chains right into your existing harness we're going to put that back down at this point we want to go ahead and open up our dielectric grease and we're going to squeeze just a little bit out and we're going to put it right on the end of the terminals there doesn't take a whole lot now that we have the dielectric grease on these, I'm going to go ahead and route these wires the way that I want to put them on the bike. Your original wiring harness from underneath the seat runs right here along the frame and goes back down to that tri bar light and then back up. So I want to feed these through the frame right here. I want to try to get them in the stock location of the other wires. So I'm basically just going to poke these through the frame. You can do this however you want but I like to just run it with the stock wires. We're gonna go behind the shock. Now with these two wires like this behind the shock, we're just gonna go behind the side cover right here. And I'm not gonna pull these really tight. I'm just gonna get them behind the side cover and put the side cover back on. I'm gonna take the provided zip ties that they send. I'm gonna pull this wire up. I'm gonna pull both wires up tight and go to the OEM harness and zip tie it there. We're going to follow this up behind the shock. We're going to zip tie it off there. We're going to pull these up, make sure that they're pulled tight. We can. We're going to throw another one in right there. We're going to take our side cutters and go ahead and clean these zip ties up. Now we have the two wires up underneath the seat. Now, if you come back up here to the two pieces that we have left over, we've got two wires coming from the back. If you pull the rubber sheath back on this, you'll notice this has a red, blue, brown, and black. The other one has a red, blue, purple, and black. So you just wanna match those colors up with the two that are on the adapter. So we're gonna connect this one to the brown because these are directionals. So you wanna make sure that you have these in the right location. If you flip flop these, they'll still work but your left's gonna turn your right, your right's gonna turn your left. So this guy here has a lot of other lights on his bike. Uh, you could normally take the black plug and plug it back into the spot in the top of the battery tray, uh, but this one's already unplugged for the amount of lights that we have on there. So we're just gonna take our extra wire and zip tie that off there. Go ahead and clean that zip tie up and you're installed. Now we wanna take our 7 16 and go back up in here. If you didn't already tighten this one above the tri bar light, go ahead at this point and tighten that one down. We're gonna take our black plastic cap and put it back on. So remember, these just hook on top, so you just basically put it in at an angle, hook it on top, and then roll it until these bottom ones click on. And you can generally do this by hand. You don't have to get up in there and look. You're just going to pull it down until you hear it click like that, and then it's installed. And that basically protects the end of the wires. Those two wires, the one side that we pulled out, uh, that kind of blocks that from ever just coming unplugged. So from there, all we have left to do is put the saddlebag back on, put the seat back on, and we're done.
So like I said, super easy install. You can have this put on in probably about 30 minutes, even if you've never done one of these before. Pretty easy to do with just a couple of wrenches. Follow my instructions there or follow along right in the directions that they send with it and you'll have it done in no time. Add that much needed light to the rear of your bike. Any kind of light that you can add to the back, the front or the side of the bike is just a win-win for everybody. These stock street glides and road glides and road kings come with those two little bullet lights back there and that's run brake blinker on the 14 up models that's it you have the two lights so if you want to get your hands on one of these i'll have links in the description straight down below open up that description it'll take you straight over to serial 3d's website check out the rest of their website too because they have a ton of parts over there we have done a ton of videos on the serial 3d parts been happy with every single one of them we got a bunch of it on the road wide a bunch of it on the street wide and we absolutely love them so remember they come in chrome with red or smoked black with red or smoked remember the fitment is 14 up street glide and street glide specials 15 and up road glide and road glide specials and the 17 and up road king specials like i said you can do this at home with a few wrenches and a little bit of know-how plus getting up in that fender well you just get dirty and you can go in the house and brag to your significant other about how hard it was to put the part on and how good you are getting it put on there but you know it was super easy to do i'm gonna get out of here and get myself cleaned up i hope to see you in the next video but until then as always be safe keep your knees in the breeze Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe popping up over here. And don't forget to check out the rest of the channel because we have a ton of bagger related and soft tail videos on our channel. And to get you started, maybe you can check out this one or this one. I'm not really gonna say anything else. You can just click one of those and take you over to another video.